it was like a machine gun or hey something. Hey guys, what is up? Hey, good morning. I uh, hope you're all having a wonderful Mandela Effect morning. Um, I'm actually um, checking some stuff out. Uh, there, there's this crazy shooting that went on. Uh, Teresa, do you know what time it happened? It happened, uh, what, last uh, night? I'm checking my local news. Uh, I, I'm still I'm still watching the news and being filled in right now. Um, this is this oh happened God. this happened right there. I live here and I didn't even. I, I don't know what time this happened, but I live here in Las Vegas and oh oh my God, this is this is massive. This is this yeah. is the worst massive shooting in history. And my mom was watching a movie last night. It was October the second. You remember what she was saying? She was saying they're all gonna die or something like that or. What was she yeah, saying? Yeah, 50, 50, 50 dead. And 50 they dead, said, um, 200 this was plus a injured. Mass shooting in history. And more than 200 are wounded by a man. Um, looks like a 64 year old man. Yeah. yeah, let me try to get the text versions. But I wanted, to, I wanted to show you guys the actual. Okay, 22 minutes ago. Oh my God. Okay, this is in the New York Times. Wow. Octo it happened October 2nd. It's all over the world. It's all over the world. The um the news everywhere. CNN, it's it's everywhere. Okay. Yeah, here My here's local. some footage right here. Good. This This is just a minute and 29. It was a 64-year-old man. What was his name, Teresa? Do you know? A country music festival, gunfire. Hang on, what was his name? Jason. Oh, wait, Jason Aldian was on stage. Jason Aldian. You lived across the street from that place? But why? I mean, why? It was all these, uh, all these people innocent. Okay, well, look, the gunman has been identified as Stephen Paddock. I was looking it up. Age sorry. 64, yes. Man Mandalay Bay Hotel. SWAT team sent to the Mandalay Bay Hotel. Pinned down by gunfire. Um... Through investigation and response, we determined there was a shooter on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay. Um, officers responded to that location and engaged the suspect at that location. He is dead currently. Uh, he has been identified. He is a local resident. He had to have been possessed, or, or maybe it was MK Ultra, man. I'm not really sure what's going on here. This is just breaking news. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can find that video again. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you. I'm gonna share with you these two videos. Uh, you decide for yourself. I don't think this is this. This doesn't seem like something somebody would fake. Okay, I know we talk about fake news a lot, no, but this uh, again. Six minutes ago, it said even the flights in and out of Las Vegas have. Are also being held up because of this. Flights in and out. Yeah, well, they this said. My local news. They said the perpetrator was was identified oh. as dead, right? They, the the guy who did it was dead. Yeah, I think they got him. They got him. Okay, yeah, he was killed by police. Killed 50 people. The shooter was killed by the police. That's yeah. what it said. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna play these other two videos, and you guys can actually see somebody was at the concert, like videotaping it. So I'll let you see that. Guys, have a great day, and uh, you know, keep keep these people in mind. Your prayers and thoughts today as you go throughout your day. This is this is almost as bad as 9/11. Almost as bad. It, it's a terrorist attack. You know, anytime you have this sort of stuff here. But yeah, keep these people in your mind. The families of the people. It even it even said the deadliest, beyond horrific, deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. That's what it says. Oh my God. Deadliest. And today, it, it, we're just getting into this. Las Vegas authorities say that more than 50 people are dead and 406 were taken to the hospitals after a man opened fire on an outdoor concert. It was outdoors um, late Sunday. It is now the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. I know that. Teresa, you're, you're so lucky you didn't go to that place last night. Um, no, I actually... 
actually, that was insane. Really this is insane. I don't, I don't even go down at the strip. I don't even go down at the strip unless I have to. I live, thank God, I used to, and here's the thing, I used to live across the street from Mandalay Bay. I literally used to live there for five years. You remember I told you about that? I lived on the strip. I lived across from this place. All right, well, across that's... the street, like literally, for five years. Oh, that's... here it is. It says, Clark County Sheriff Joseph Lombardo says officers confronted the suspect on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay. Uh, right. Hotel and Casino across from this, across from the Route 91 Harvest Music Festival. SWAT's team quickly descended on the concert and the casino and the officers used explosives to get into the hotel room where the suspect was inside. Authorities say the gunman identified as 64-year-old Stephen Paddock was found dead. Hmm. Oh my God. They said officers in Mesquite, Nevada, where Paddock resided, reportedly said they have no previous contact with him. Police say they located 62-year-old Mary Lou Danley, who was initially wanted as a person of interest in this incident. They later announced that she was not believed to have been involved in the shooting. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, the country music star was Jason mm -hmm. Adeline. That's what the concert was. Yep. Um, wow. Yep. All right. The well, shooter, shooting Teresa showed Adeline stopping and the crowd getting quiet. Wow. Yeah, I know oh this is God. this is insane. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I'm it gonna go ahead. And, I'm gonna go ahead and get this video out the there to everybody. Paused and then fired another volley of muzzle flashes from the Golden Glass Casino as more victims fell to the ground while others fled in panic. I wonder Careful what video from the scene, that's what you were showing. I know, but I wonder what caused this guy to just open fire on everybody, you know? I don't know. It says as the more than twenty two thousand fans in the crowd began to flee, witnesses reported seeing flashes of light coming from the Mandalay Hotel Tower high above. He was he was shooting from above, not in the crowd. More heroes. Oh, wow, look at this. Hang on. Antonio Castellan, stay there's there. A, there's a warning. Go You're all going right to die now tonight. Of, uh, that came in through so That's the one I think my mom was talking about. Not knowing exactly where the shooter the shooters were, finally they could even be a gosh anymore. What we do Let me see if I can find that section. There are people in front of them, but none of us knew that. Now, and so they will start to do. Oh, let's see what this girl was saying. Official word: We have not received right here, anything of caution. And, and we stepped over the bodies. A so lot of people. You're all going to die tonight. I want to know from this bodies. witness here on. And I mean, were you thinking, "Oh my gosh, this this woman told us that before before we left"? Wow. News Three's Christy Wilcox at times has been moved back and forth, and even at one point sheltered. Somebody tried to warn while everybody. She is talking to a victim right now, Christy. Maybe she had a Yeah, we were sheltered under uh, and, and behind quite a few things as we were making our way down uh, the south of the Strip because police were just, you know, pushing us down. And right here, Bri Brianna, uh, you were here for your 21st birthday. Yes, that's correct. Tell me a little bit about um, what you saw, what you heard. Um, we went back up to the room, and as soon as we reached the room from the concert venue, we just heard constant shootings. At first we thought it was fireworks, but then it was... It was shooting. And then somebody said something to you to, to tell me about that experience. Yeah, so there was a lady who pushed her way forward into the concert venue into the first row, and she started messing with another lady and told us that we are all going to die tonight. Oh, my God. Do you know why she was saying that? I mean, was this after the, thought, uh, the shots were saying? fired? or It was about 45 minutes before the shots were active. 45 minutes wait, before. Wait, 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 wait did you hear say? that? I'm getting chills right now, no. Teresa. 45 minutes what before. Happened? Listen, 45 minutes before the shots were fired, a woman tried to warn everyone, we're all going to die tonight. Actually fired, but then she was escorted out by security. She was escorted out by security, see that? How does that make you feel? I mean, it makes me feel uncomfortable, especially coming she already knew, for my 21st wait, birthday. She, wait, 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 she already knew this again. guy's plans? Either she knew this guy's plans or she had a premonition from God. And the police escorted her out. They didn't. Why? Why would you do such a thing if it's a warning? They didn't take her 
seriously. No, they didn't. I'm safe, not even knowing if I'm safe going home tomorrow on an airplane. This is so. insane. Um, and, and how did you get out of the, the venue the after this all happened? No, I'm we about to. We actually were there whenever the shooting Hang had on. occurred. We had already left about maybe 10, 15 minutes before that. But we just barely made it back into our room whenever it started. Oh, my God. And, I mean, were you thinking, oh, my gosh, this this woman told us that before before we left? Yeah, I thought it had a positive correlation to it. Like, obviously, she was telling us that in either to tell us to warn us or to tell us that we were all going to die. And she was part of it. So, okay, That's uh, what, we're going to yeah, ask you a question been part of Go it. ahead. But why? So why? I, I, I have a question. Let's nail this down uh, so that it's sure. a matter of record. I want to know it, the description of this woman. Uh, we hear that this woman who made her way to the front of the stage and then told a lot of people you're all going to die tonight. I want to know from this witness here on scene the description of this woman. Just she so said, you're if all any of our Metro partners are watching this, it is made a matter of record tonight. Okay, so uh, they want the description of this woman. Describe to me what this woman looked like. Her and her boyfriend were both Hispanic. They were probably about shorter five-footers, probably about five, 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 six. Um, they just look like everyday people. Just. Can you tell us anything more about them, what they look like? Why were they escorted out? Were they escorted out because you were feeling uncomfortable about what they said? Oh my yes, God, this because is she had crazy. been messing with the lady in front of her and telling her that she was going to die, that we are all going to die. So they escorted her out to make her stop messing around with all the other people in front of us, but none of us knew that it was going to be serious. Bree, did that answer your question? Yeah, thank you. Okay, okay. Yes, I hear you. Okay, but there's so many Mandela's, I've got like 20 videos to roll out, it seems. I'm even... Somebody, somebody found me predictive programming too for something else that I have to publish, uh, which I'll be doing that later too. Uh, it's gonna be a busy day, uh, guys. Have a great Mandela Fic day, and uh, God bless. Be sure to look look at the other two videos that I'm gonna post along with this one. Thanks, guys. We have some new footage just into CNN of this in the moments after it took place. Let's play it right now. It's very graphic. We should take you down right there. Oh my God! Hey, bud. Hey, right now, we need your truck. We just need to get people over to the hospital, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Put them all in the back. Okay. Can you uh, can you pull over towards the side over there? You know what? This person right here. Hold up. Hold up. Can we get this person in here? Baby, this is horrible. Oh my God. Yeah, hold on. Try it now. Oh my, oh my God. I can tell you what I see here. First of all, it's horrific. The aftermath of a horrifying event. More than 50 people killed, more than 200 injured. But what we also see here is an enormous outpouring of heart and bravery in people helping each other, trying to get them to safety. Oh, 
Some kind of mass shooting, fucking guy had a heavy caliber weapon for sure. Saw a girl's fucking get shot in the face right next to me. Her brain's fucking hanging out. Stupid ass muted brain gun. Breaking news now on CBS 2 News at 11. An active shooter situation on the Las Vegas Strip. It sounds like it began at the Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival at the Mandalay Bay Resort Event Center in Las Vegas tonight. Dramatic video is being posted on social media. Las Vegas PD just tweeted, we are investigating reports of an active shooter near the Mandalay Bay Casino. We are asking everyone to please avoid that area. Right now, nothing is confirmed. Lots of varying reports about the victims and the shooters. Again, nothing confirmed at this point, but Robert Ayala uh, is on the phone with us. He is staying at the Mandalay Bay Resort. Robert, what can you tell us? Well, hi, Peter. Yes. Uh, earlier when this incident happened, I was going out to dinner with some friends uh, over here in the city. We had just left the hotel about five to six minutes prior. And as we were exiting the, our uh, ride, our taxi, I saw all kinds of units. Uh, there's some units going uh, towards the hospital now. Um, <clears throat> all the units were coming from Paradise and Harmon going southbound towards that direction with some fire trucks. And also, uh, I, I figured, okay, so I'm going to a plane crash. And I brought up the police app and uh, listened to Las Vegas Metro. And uh, apparently, it was an active shooter situation with uh, reported three shooters with automatic weapons both in the concert and some shooting victims inside the hotel on the 29th, 32nd, and 35th floors. Uh, security guard was shot in the leg on the 29th floor. Officer was shot in the shoulder out on the uh, Las Vegas Boulevard area, and I believe two other officers were shot. Um, before you went on the air, there was an ambulance just went northbound on Paradise, and behind it was a pickup with looked like some shooting victims in the back, and the person was honking their horn. So... Uh, yeah, it looks like a pretty bad situation. Unfortunately, uh, I, I don't have uh, any visual on the, at, at the ground there at the scene, but um, from what I heard, it, it's pretty bad. Multiple victims on the east side by some church, and uh, they've shut down Las Vegas Boulevard, Tropicana, and the, 15, and the I-15, and set up a command post out there. Uh, for triage and staging areas for uh, all the response personnel. And Robert, I want you to put in pers perspective for the people who are listening to you right now. You do have training uh, as a paramedic and also uh, a, some background in law enforcement. So when you saw the amount of uh, police cruisers going towards Mandalay Bay and how many officers and ambulances started heading that way, you knew something catastrophic had happened. Yeah, that's true, Elsa. Um, yeah, I, usually the, what they call what in, in police speak, they call the cavalry. Uh, it looked like was rolling. I thought maybe, okay, officer involved in a fight. But when I saw the uh, when I saw the ambulances and the fire trucks rolling that way from this direction, that kind of kind of spiked my 
my radar, if you will. And uh, that's when I brought up the police app and started listening to the traffic as the, and things were happening. So, um, Now, what is the situation like where you are right now? Are you able to get back to Mandalay Bay? You said part of the strip was shut down uh, to traffic. Yeah. Obviously, there's probably a good amount of patrol cars in the area. We're looking at video right now that is being sent into us of some of the police response there and the paramedic response there. What are you seeing right now? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm not at the location uh, per se, but uh, I am by Paradise, which is the main route, in, uh, which is the main route uh, going northbound towards the uh, trauma center. And so far, there's been three ambulances, and that was that pickup just before you went live uh, on the air, uh, that pickup, uh, civilian pickup uh, honking their horn behind the ambulance, which looked like there were some uh, shooting victims in the back, uh, in the back bed of the pickup truck. And, Robert, you said uh, you actually saw some specific uh, people who were shot. You said you, two officers shot in the shoulders? Well, that was, I heard that on the, on the, uh, police, uh, on the police broadcast. And also a woman, you said, shot in the head? Yeah, that was also on the police broadcast. That information I gave you was all over the, uh, the police radio uh, broadcast, broadcastify app, I believe it is. And, Robert, we just want to stress for people listening to you right now, you can kind of decipher what's being said on scanner traffic because you do have a background as an EMT. But just want to remind people that the traffic that we do here on scanners is preliminary information. We are working to confirm that information right now, that those are the injuries that people did sustain. Um, but, again, these are you're hearing some of the first transmissions. Robert is hearing some of the first transmissions on scanner there out in Las Vegas of what police could possibly be seeing in that area. Uh, Robert, I'm also following along with Las Vegas uh, police on Twitter, and they're asking everyone to avoid heading to the south end of the Strip. Las Vegas Boulevard is shut down at the Tropicana southbound past Russell Road right now. So we do have somebody else on the line with us who is also in Las Vegas right now. Kimberly, do we have you on the line with us? Okay, we've lost Kimberly right now, but uh, as you heard, the, the caller that we did have on the line with us, uh, trained as an EMT and a background in some law enforcement, said he knew something catastrophic had happened when he left his hotel at the Mandalay Bay to go out to dinner, and he saw multiple patrol cars, Las Vegas police, heading in the other direction towards the hotel. He listened to scanner traffic and knew that this was an active shooter situation, possibly several shooters participating in this period. And Elsa, I'm also getting emails from folks who are in Las Vegas right now. One who said she was at that concert. She started hearing uh, the gunfire. She is writing me. She ran underneath the bleachers and hid uh, while people were fleeing that concert. Uh, and right now they are still waiting to figure out what's going on. Uh, they were told, she said, that there was a shooting at the Tropicana as well as the Mandalay Bay. Uh, and the, she said folks just started running. There was pandemonium. So we are now just starting to hear from a lot of folks uh, who are in Las Vegas right now mm -hmm. about what they're seeing, what they're hearing. Uh, again, a lot of this information is preliminary. Uh, we do see on social media a lot of people are saying that they have seen several people shot. And as Robert Ayala mentioned, he's been listening to the police traffic scanner. Uh, he thinks that there have been at least two police officers uh, shot in the shoulder, and he also heard of a woman uh, who was shot in the head. So this is just unfolding right now. Uh, very horrible situation uh, in Las Vegas right now near the Strip, uh, near the Route 91 concert, which you can see right there, just a massive crowd uh, suddenly fleeing for their lives. Right.